Hello there, everyone. Iron Master MT here, and today we are facing off against the Machesney Park Slowpokes and Coach of Prater. All right, so this is our first match off for playoffs. I can't believe we actually made it. All right, and let's see. We see a Steelix, Galar, Zapdos, Rillaboom, Volcanion, Electivire, Tauros. All right, interesting Pokemon. All right. All right, and this is the Prater's chance to actually uh, get revenge for uh, last season. All right, so who could we lead off with? I think Ry Ryko will be a good lead, in my opinion. Then we're going to go ahead and this. All right, there we go. All right, and good luck, have fun to a Prater. Good luck, have fun. All right, here we go. Who's he gonna lead off with? Zapdos? All right, that's the Zapdos Galar. All right. So what can I do? I know uh, the electric move just seems really obvious. I'm really just tempted to go Scald, whether Steelix comes in, or Rillaboom, anything, as long as I can get a Scald burn, that'd be amazing. So I think that's the safe bet for now. I don't want to go willy-nilly, uh, yeah, there we go. Alright, come on, go Steelix. Steelix or Rillaboom, one of the two is I could burn him. Brutus. Ah, okay, Lectivire. Okay, cool. Alright, no burn. Let's see, what will be a good Pokemon to switch in right now? Alright, it could have Earthquake. I know it gets a good amount of coverage. I think Skull's still the safe bet for now. No Scarf. Oh, Ice Pump. Oh, they're, they're probably predicting either Vileplume or Dragonite. Yeah, it was either Vileplume or Dragonite they were predicting. Volcano. Oh. Nice switch. Right, let's go Thunderbolt. Are they Scarred, maybe? Gorilla Boom. Ah, oh, okay. Here comes Gorilla. That was really nice. If I could get a Para, that'd be cool. Uh, do I want to go via plume? Let's see. Uh, they could very well grassy glide and go for a kill, or they could go in sword stance. Oh man, right now, like they got some good momentum. They can either SD right now, or they can go for huge damage. I'm gonna take a risk. I'm gonna try to go for a Scald Burn. Come on, Scald Burn. Darn. And Raikou goes down to Rilla. Ah, oh, man, that's unfortunate. What are they going to go into right now?
Corals is here. All right, who do I want to do? On string set. All right, there's the effects for got the paralysis on it. All right, let's go ahead and leech seed. Oh, but I forgot they could also go Rillaboom, potentially. Alright, who are they gonna go into? Oh, Volcanion. Alright, perfect. I think every time I see Volcanion, I go Milotic. Steam Eruption, Flamethrower, Fire Blast, Earth Power, Central Other Coverage Move. Alright, that's fine. I get my Milotic out on the field. I get the Flame Body, uh, get the Marble Scale. Let's see, what do I want to do? Let's just go for damage. Alright, let's go for a Scald. Oh. Okay, I think now's the time to recover. Even though it seems pretty obvious, let's see if they switch. No, they don't switch. It's still doing good damage. I kinda hope that I get paralyzed. I know it does involve a little bit of hacks. Okay, there we go. Let's go Ice Beam. Alright, and Mido Take kills Tauros. Let's see. Okay, so it has Ice Punch, probably Electric Move. Hmm, who could I go into?
that because they could very go well go ice punch or they could just go electric move just to be safe oh man all right let's go ahead and scold oh volcanion's here All right, and I unfortunately granted them recovery. I'm gonna take a risk. I'm gonna maybe hope for them to switch again. Oh, Sludge Wave. Okay. Not good. I was really hoping that they would have thought it would have uh, switched. Oh, the focus miss. Let's go Ice Beam. I don't know. They switch now. They're just gonna keep going for damage. I don't think that freeze is gonna matter that much. That's probably any fire move or steam eruption, and it'll just uh, pretty much uh, break free. There we go. That's what I figured. So I've seen Beam Eruption, Focus Blast, and Sludge Wave. They're probably packing a fire move. All right, let's go Vile Plume. All right, here's the Focus Blast. Let's see. Flamethrower and probably this is where Vileplume goes down. Oh yeah, there goes Vileplume. Let's go ahead and substitute. This little Kenyon's being a little bit of a pain. Oh, darn. Yeah, oh uh, yeah. Darn, that's not good. Oh man, this Volcanion just putting in the work. 
I think at this point, this is, um, before the match is even over, it's already GG because I already lost two of my offensive attackers. At this point, I really can't do much, so... I think after that paralysis hacks on Tauros, I think I deserve the burn. Yeah, I tried. All right, but we're gonna keep. Yeah, we're gonna keep going. All right, Dragonite goes down to Volcanion Steam Eruption, like due to the burn from Volcanion. Right, we're gonna try the cosmic power over here. There it is, the heavy slam. I just wished right there, to be honest. Yeah, and Clefable goes down to Steelix. Yeah. GG. Alright. At this point, Milo tickets walled by Volcanion, and... And not much I can really do at this point. Yeah, but... Uh, yeah, Praetor played really well. I will say that they just, like... They outmomented me in every way possible. Yeah, it was a little bit tricky to play around his team. Oh, it was weakness policy. And not much I can do here at this point. Alright, Zapdos comes in. That was a choice card. Yeah, I think no matter what, uh, Mandibuzz is gonna go down. Yeah, all I'm doing is delaying the inevitable. Yeah, at this point, all I can try to go for is just damage. All right. 
right, and yeah, Milo Tick is gonna go down this turn, and then Mandibuzz goes down. And Milo Tick gets taken down by Galar Zapdos. All right, yeah, at this point, yeah, I did my best. I really did, but overall, it's GG's. Honestly, uh, could I have played better? Maybe. Um, but at the end, Appraider just played really well. And yeah, no matter what I did, uh, they just like, in every single turn, they just like outmaneuvered me. Yeah, Milo Tick was uh, unfortunately a bit of a hindrance due to uh, Volcanion just completely walling it. Alright, at this point, we're just delaying the inevitable. Alright. At least it ends in a 4 0. Oh well, overall, I had a great season. I at least managed to make it to uh, playoffs, even though I pretty much got uh, knocked down immediately. But regardless, I had a lot of fun. At this point, a Praetor, best of luck to you in the playoffs. I wish you well, and same to all the other coaches that watched this video. Yeah, wishing you all the best of luck. And there we go. My my CPL season three run officially ends here. A Praetor ended up getting his revenge for uh, last season. Yeah, right. So we're one and one. So one victory for him, one, one victory for me. Yeah, not much I could have done there at that point. And yeah, like. Like, I've noticed on many of my matches, um, yeah, my team was just lacking in offense, honestly. Dragonite and Raikou being my only offensive, uh, Pokemon. Yeah, it just, it was just bound to be completely overpowered. Yeah, but with that, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. With that, I am officially done with CPL Season 3, and hopefully if you guys have me again, uh, to pretty much all the admins and people in charge of CPL. Looking forward to participating in next season, and once again, GG's to a Praetor. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.